Hello and welcome to Shweta's Kitchen. Today I will be sharing with you guys a complete guide on how to bake a perfect bread. Let's start. Take some milk. Add instant yeast. Then we are going to add some molasses or sugar. Molasses gives the bread a full bodied flavor which sugar cannot do. Uh, then we are going to add some butter and then we start kneading now during kneading you have to ensure that you not only do you combine all the ingredients together but first you get everything together in the bowl and once you see that it is very well combined together and it forms sort of a comes together as a round shaggy dough ball then get it on top of your kitchen counter and start kneading it further the whole idea of this stretch and pull this playing around with the dough is to ensure that you are increasing the elasticity of the dough so that you get that fluff and the nice rise of the bread After 10 minutes of kneading, apply some olive oil on top to prevent from drying. Now rest covered for 30 minutes till the time the dough has more than doubled. Now that will again depre- depend on the temperature and the weather where you are staying. Now deflate all the gas. Now take the loaf tin and grease it with some olive oil. This will ensure that your dough is not going to stick once uh, it is cooked and it comes out easily. Keep it in a warm area for 30 to 35 minutes. Bake it for 210 degree for 35 to 40 minutes. It's so rewarding when it comes out perfect. This absolutely deserves some love. Let's make a sandwich. Let's start with the sauce. Let's add some mayo, some ketchup. I have made some homemade pesto. Let's add that along with some mustard as well. Mix it and set aside. Now let's take the chicken breast give some deep gashes to it we do that so that it cooks faster and the spices penetrate deeper once we are done with that we will pair our marinade with some chili flakes paprika powder ginger powder garlic powder white pepper powder garam masala powder and some salt to taste now we are going to mix it all together and add some olive oil mix it up and add the chicken to it Now let's add some flour on both side of the chicken. This will prevent the spices from burning. Let's take some olive oil and fry it for 2 minutes on each side. Do not overcook.
Once the meat in the gashes have become opaque, it's done. Take it off the pan and set aside. Cut yourself to beautiful slice of the bread. You can see how well the bread has cooked with those little holes inside. Let's toast them as well and apply the sauce uh, that we have prepared. Let's add it on both sides of the bread. Now place the chicken on top, some tomato slices, add some salt if you will and, and let's add some green of your choice. I have added over here some lettuce, some rocket leaves and voila, it's all done. Cut it in any way you want. and it's ready for you to enjoy. It took me many trial and errors to bake the perfect bread. I hope this video helps in shortening your learning curve. Don't forget to give us a like and help spread the love. Share with bread nerds and sandwich lovers alike.